So why did you ask me to come here? Teresa, you know I don't belong here. I, I'm not a crane. I have wonderful news of him. I talked to Julian about you. You talked to Julian about me? I helped him realize how much he loves you, Ethan. He raised you as his son, and he still loves you. He still misses you. He does? Yes, he does. Teresa's right. She's opened my eyes to the truth. I raised you as my son. It's hard for me to think of you as anything but my son. But Sam Bennett's the man who fathered me. And I don't care who your biological father is. I still think of you as my son in my heart. Come back to the family, Ethan. I want you to be my son again. I want you to be a crane again. I've missed you, Ethan. Too far. Thank you, Teresa. No, I can't believe you did this for me. Thank you. I know what you think, so I to try to convince Julian to let Ethan back into the Crane family. She says it's a crazy fantasy. But it's the only fantasy I have left. I'm sorry, Gwen. I know this isn't your fault. It's just I... I've got a lot on my mind. I know you do. It's just... I wish that Teresa was here so we could talk about this. I love her and I want to work this out. You said that she had left. Do you know where she went? No. I don't have a clue. Look, Ethan, I I know that I may sound like the jilted fiancé here, but I'm just, I'm really just being honest with you. I don't think you know the real Teresa. She's been deceiving you all along. I don't believe that. Look, she is an innocent. She doesn't have it in her to be deceptive. Gwen, I know she didn't send that letter to the tabloid. Okay, but think about it, Ethan. She knew that Sam was your father all along and didn't tell you. And even after it came out in the tabloid, she still didn't tell you that she had had this information. I know, but I'm sure she has an explanation. Which you deserve to hear. Why did she scan Ivy's letter onto her computer? If she wasn't going to send it to the tabloid, what was she going to do with it? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, you are going to regret this, Rebecca, because I can ruin you. I can make one phone call, and the society pages are going to be screaming about the way you tried to claw your way into the Crane Empire and laughing about the way you failed. Ha! Huh. You are the one they will laugh at when they hear how you were tossed out onto the street like yesterday's garbage. No, face facts, Ivy. I am going to be the next Mrs. Julian Crane. And everything that goes with it will be mine. You know, Rebecca, with the exception of your, um, looks, you haven't changed since our sorority days, have you? You're still a conniving slut. Tisk, tisk. Oh, my, such language from a, uh, former pillar of society. I remember how you stole Jonathan Hotchkiss away from... Clarissa, without a second thought, and now you're doing the same thing with my husband. Well, you can have Julian, he's a philandering idiot anyway. But you will not take my place in society or here in the mansion. <laughs> well, I will take your place in society and in the mansion. And if I were you, you know, I would stop all this silly false bravado and do something constructive with my time like pack <laughs> you are such a bitch and you are such a fool ivy this is all your own doing you are going to end up with nothing you have lost it all You know, I want more than anything to believe that David is lying, but... But... You know, I'm always worried that something like this would happen. 
I mean, not that I have a second husband, but just that something would come back from my past. Sweetie, it's totally understandable for someone with amnesia. You wouldn't be normal if you didn't wonder about the first half of your life. I try not to dwell on it. I mean, my life with Sam has been so wonderful. But I know that I have had another whole life. That whoever I was before is lurking out there somewhere. And I have always been just secretly afraid that something would come from my past, something that would upset my life with Sam. And what if this is it? What if David is the thing from my past that I was always afraid would come back? 